Hello, today we will talk about creating annotations and setting them up. We will create some simple annotations, which will give the user the information of what can be done on the scene. Also, we will set them up, both the annotations and pop-up messages. Alright, let's start. Let's create a new tab, which will be called Annotations. And we will start simple, by just adding annotations to our scene. Let's go to Objects, grab the puzzle Add Annotation, and we already have the empty object set in place, so we can hook the annotations to them. They are called in 4, with the postfix 1, 2, 3 and 4. Ok, first, let's empty the text field. Then, let's rename id to info1. I have already prepared the text for the annotation, so I will just copy it and paste here. Let's press play, and here we have our first annotation. Let's do the same for three other annotations. Alright, four annotations are ready, and if we press them, we have a pop-up window with some text. But they don't look too good, yet. Let's change it. For that we need the puzzle that we already know from previous tutorials, create CSS rule. Even though the annotations and the text inside annotations already have a promate and preset class for them, the puzzle create CSS rule will help us to change it. It will just overwrite the already preset parameters for this class. So the first class that is reserved for annotations is called v3d annotation. It sets the style for these elements or the buttons which we press for the annotation to open. So let's start setting it up. First, we will need to change the background's color. Right now they are a bit too dark, so let's make them a bit brighter, grey. For the color I will be using the hexagonal system. Alright, the elements became a bit brighter. The next step will be adding a spatial icon instead of the void, which appeared because we deleted the text. For that we need to edit the parameter background image. And here we need to type in the path for our icon. Here it is located in media folder and is called info.svg. Let's press play. And well, we have something, but it is not what we need. The texture is a bit offset and not the right size. To fix it, we need the background position parameter. Here let's type in Sensor. Alright, the image is centered, but now we clearly see that the size is wrong, and we can even see the tiling of this texture on the top and bottom. Let's fix the size with the parameter background size. And let's set it to 80%. And here we go. The icons look correctly. The next step will be to modify the style of pop-up windows. Again, let's grab the create CSS rule puzzle. And here we need to type in another class reserved for annotations. It is called v3d annotation dialog. 
First, again, let's also change the background's color by modifying this parameter the same way that we did previously. Alright, now it is grey as well. Next, let's change the size of a font. Let's make it a bit bigger. Let's set it to 18 pixels. Ok, good. Now the text is more convenient to read. And the next step will be actually to change the font itself. But first we need to initialize it. For that, let's select the tab init. And from the initialization puzzles, let's drag the puzzle font. Here we need to type in the path to the font. For this project I have placed it to media and is called oswald.ttf. Now here we need to set the name for the font, which we will be using. I will also type in Oswald. Let's press play. And now we need to set parameter Fonts Family. And here let's type in our font Oswald. Let's press play. And here we have our font changed. And it is visually much better. Alright, what else can we do? Let's actually add a little border for our annotation. It will be a thin white border. For that we will need another parameter, which is called border. It is a little bit more complicated than the parameters that we already know. First we need to set thickness for our border. I will set it to 1 pixel. Next we need to set the style of the border. There are different styles and we can easily find them on the internet. We will use the simplest minimalistic style, which is called solid. And next we need to set the color. I will just type in white. Let's press play. Click the annotation and now we can see the thin border that we have just set. We can edit any parameter of the pop-up window using this method. Alright, that's all. See you in the next tutorial.